Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to test some pickups. I'm going to show you how to get ohm readings to show the power of pickups. We got a couple different pickups and we're going to be using this meter here. It's a cheap one Harbor Freight but it works just fine for what we're going to do. We got to have set on the 20 ohm setting. Got it powered on now and we're going to do a single coil pickup that's a strat type pickup and we're going to do a humbucker pickup and uh, show the differences of the ohm readings to get the power and we're going to show you how to test for a dead pickup. First off we're going to show the single coil pickup out of a strat. This is a Wilkinson pickup. I got the white wire which is the hot wire on the red and the black wire on the ground and it's showing 596, 597. That's the power, the ohmage output of this pickup, which is pretty good. A standard strat pickup is in that, so it's pretty much in the same ballpark figures as a regular standard strat. Now, this is a humbucker pickup. It was in a, a PRS SE. As the, just as in the other one, we got the black wire on the ground. The white wire is the hot. I got them touched on my fingers. This one's reading 7.93. Now this is a coil splittable pickup. It has four lead wires. The two of them that are tied together, so for like a push-pull switch, then you can uh, go into single coil mode on that. And on this, it's showing a reading of... 4.12 so that's less power showing that it's only doing one of the leads uh, one of the coils that is working which was for, would be when the pull switch is engaged on your guitar there's four wires on this connector right here this is the ground the black common when you go to test it you would put it on there with your hand like that now this is the yellow wire of the lead sometimes they're white the red one would go on that and this is the red and white which is coil splittable you would put that on there to get the ohm reading on there to show if it's a pickup now if you put these wires to the leads and you do not get a reading it would be a dead pickup so you could tell right then and there that it was a dead pickup but this one being good at 795 that's that's excellent for a neck pickup. Uh, come out of a PRS SE Korea made guitar. Now to to find out in a guitar if you do not have the pickups out of the guitar and you want to know the ohm reading, readings of the pickups, you plug you one end of your guitar cable into the jack. You make sure you have the switches. That's how you can tell the difference. Make sure that's on full. The volume is all the way up. You take your cable right here on this part of the cable to the common and you hold that there. Then you take the red one and you put it on the tip and it should show a reading on there. That's how you determine the pickup is good and the power. Now you put it on that for the neck pickup and you have reading. These are extra strong pickups because these were out of an American main Telecaster. This neck pickup is 8.32. Awesome, awesome strong pickup. Now switch it back to the bridge and you got 6.71 which is hot for a Telecaster. These were in a American Standard Telecaster so they're hotter pickups than the regular uh, pickups of a normal Telecaster. You want to find out the middle reading, put it in the middle, and you get 3.78. And that's when both pickups are combined. That's how you can find the homage of a guitar pickup with the pickup still being in the guitar. I hope this is informative to you. I was just trying to show you how you can measure the output uh, in homage of your pickups so you can determine how hot it is and also whether it's dead or not because if it ha if your guitar is not working or 
the pickups that you received, you want to know whether they're good or not, using this ohm tester, you can find out whether your pickups are good, they're bad, or how strong they are. If you're playing like in a country band, 5 ohms is awesome for, you know, a regular guitar system. Uh, if you're in a rock band, you uh, with a humbucker, you want a high output pickup like a Seymour Duncan Distortion be 15 or 16k ohms. Uh, the standard is 7 to 10. Depending on what you want for sound, this is the way to test and find out. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like what you see, come back and I'm going to do more videos in the future. Thank you.